Okay, this is EENG460, and we're going to do another little video today. And today we're going to talk about the instruction set less than. All right, so let me uh, bring in the program that we're going to discuss. It's the set less than instruction, and there's several set less than. There's set less than, set less than immediate, set less than unsigned, and I think there might be an immediate unsigned also. Okay, so let's look at this program. Comment statements up top, that hasn't changed. Uh, I have a data segment right here, but there's really not much in that data segment, right? I have three ASCII strings. One is a demo program, this is two carriage returns, and then my normal termination of program, uh, normal termination of program message I put at the end, okay? Then I have my uh, text segment that takes care of the rest of the code here. And then I declare a label my main that indicates uh, this is a global guy then what do we do here well let's see we um, come along here and we use load immediate to put the value of one in register s3 then we put the value of two in register s4 then here's my set less than and the way this guy works is it's going to set t0 the first register here the destination or source type, yeah, uh, destination register to either 0 or 1 depending on the relationship between s3 and s4 so um, we're going to set t0 to 1 if s3 is less than s4 and that's what the lt here stands for set less than set t0 to 1 if s3 is less than s4 all right so s3 takes on the value of 1 s4 takes on the value of 2 is 1 less than 4? Yeah, it is. So this should set T0 to 1. Then we come down here and we reload S3 and S4. Now I put 4 into S3 and I put 3 into S4. And I do my set less than command. And the result is going to go destination registers T0. Now is S3 less than S4? Well, S3 contains 4. S4 contains 3. So no, S3 is not less than S4. We should reset T0 to 0 here. We're not going to set. We're going to reset it. Okay, now I come along here and let's do something a little differently. Let's put quad F quad F into S0 and quad 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 into S1. All right, you might think, oh my gosh, S0 is way bigger than S1. Well, is it really? No, because this is, um, here we're doing a signed command. All right, let's make a little note here. This is uh, signed. Okay. And it's going to interpret the data and the registers as signed. So if this is a signed data, most significant bit set, it's two's complement, and that equals negative 1. So S0 is negative 1. S1 is 1. Is a negative 1 less than a 1? Yes, it is. We're going to set T0 back to 1 again. Okay. Now, this time, what we'll do is we'll keep those same values in S0 and S1. S0 has quad F, quad F. S1 has quad 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And now I'm going to do a set less than, but notice I have a U here. This is set less than unsigned. This guy up here was set less than signed. So the set less than unsigned interprets this data as unsigned data. There is no signed bit. So now this quad F quad F is a huge positive number. Okay. So then when we do set less than unsigned, is S0 less than S1? Well, no, it's not, because this is the biggest positive number you can have, 32-bit quantity, um, for unsigned data, because we're doing an unsigned command. Interpret the contents of the register as unsigned data. So S0 is, in fact, greater than S1, much greater. And uh, since it's not less than, we won't set, and T0 will go back to 0. All right? So let's go ahead and uh, run this. Now here, well, actually, here's the other stuff. I just print out my normal termination register. I load V0 with 4 per string, and then I terminate the program. All right. So let's save this guy, and let's load it. Uh, Reinitialize and load file. This is my set less than program. And here you go. Okay, so let's hit F10. And at that point, what we've done here is we've just loaded S3 and S4 with 1 and 2. Now let's go check it out. Where's S3? S3 and S4 take on the value of 1 and 2. All right. Now let's go back to here. I'm going to say set less than. Is 3 less than 4? Yeah, it is. 1's less than 2, so I'm going to set T0. Now I could hit F10 here and then go look at my data, but what I can also do is I can click on the Integers tab, and then at this point, you know, I kind of look at T0. I can press F10 now. So I'm going to press F10, and it's going to single step through the code in my text segment, but now you're going to notice T0 is going to change. 
All right, I'm going to hit F10. You ready? Drum roll. Boom, I just hit F10. Notice T0 changed the 1. It got set because we just executed the set less than statement right here. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to set the registers 3 and 4 to have the values of 4 and 3. All right, so let's go look. Scroll down here. Register 3 has 4. Register 4 has 3. Now I'm going to do my set less than. Is 3 less than 4? No. The register 3 has 4 and register 4 has 3. So this is not less than 4. So we're not going to set T0. We're going to reset it back to 0. All right, let's play that same game. Let's not execute this command until I get over to the integers tab, register tab. And let's find T0. All right, now I'm going to hit F10. You ready? Getting ready to push F10 to execute that set less than. Oh, and T0 got reset to 0. How about that? Well, that's what we'd expect. Click over to here. We move to the next statement. All right, now this one here is a little trickier. Notice what I'm going to do. I'm going to put quad F, quad F into S0, quad 0, 0, 0, 1 into quad 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 into S1. So now I've got this quad F, quad F into S0, and I've got quad 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 into S1. Is S0 less than S1? Well, you've got to pay attention here. This set less than assumes signed data. So that means it's interpreting the contents of S0 as signed. Well, what is that? Well, that's a negative 1. 2's complement, right? Flip it, add 1. Two's, that's a negative 1. So is negative 1 less than 1? It sure is. So at this point, we should set T0. Let's go back to uh, the integer tab. I'm going to hit F10. And notice, T0 got set to 1 again. All right. So now we come back to here. And again, I'm going to load... S0 with quad F, quad F. It's already in there, but I'll just do it again. And then S1 with quad 0, uh, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, this time, we're going to do the same equation we did, the same command we did up here, but a little bit different. Instead of using the set less than command, I'm going to use the set less than unsigned. So now it's going to interpret the contents of S0 and S1 as unsigned data. Well, if I interpret that as unsigned data, I'm not interpreting the most significant bit as a signed bit, and this is a huge number. Huge po it's the largest possible number you can have for 32-bit unsigned data. And then this is 1, all right? So, yeah, in this case, is S0 less than 1? No, it's not, because S0 is a huge number. So it's going to reset T0 to 0. Let's go back to the integers tab. Find T0, and if I hit F10, it should get reset to 0. And it does. Okay. Then uh, we come down to here, and then, of course, this stuff right here is just going to print. Uh, it's going to load uh, yeah, V04. We've done that a million times. We're going to print out a string. What string are we going to print out? And as soon as I do syscall, it should go. There you go. It popped open my console window, and it printed out normal termination of program. And then if I hit F10 again, the program has stopped, and you see that down the lower corner there. All right, well, that pretty much sums up set less than. Uh, you have a set less than, and then you have a set less than unsigned. If you don't specify that you, it assumes signed data. Now, you also have a set less than immediate and set less than immediate unsigned, and you can play with those. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.